Jaipur. We are in India. We're halfway through our trip and we got two days in this city. So, and we're staying in the nice Hilton, thanks to money. Keep cashing in at points from work. So now we get to stay in a nice luxury hotel. So, let's explore Jaipur. Look at this. They give us a newspaper in a bag. The Times of India. Hotel pool and check out the pigeons. They're, they're loving it. They're reducing their water levels. They don't mind drinking a bit of chloride, <laughs> but at least they're happy and uh, they found a good drinking source. We are in Amber Fort, which is the biggest fort in Jaipur. And it's been here for a thousand years, one yeah. shape or another. 1967, it was the first settlement, and since then, people have been developing it more and more. It's really cool area to defend because you have all the sharp hills just around us. And uh, they built the palace as well here. So oh, yes, it's, it's a palace. Uh, it was a residence of the Maharajas for a while. So it's a very, very big site. It's quite hot. I like lots of places of shade, so let's keep going. We got ourselves a guide and now we're doing a little tour of the palace, fort, and it's a huge place. There's a lot of Persian architecture happening here. decorate a wall literally mirrors concave mirrors so you get loads of reflections and cool light effects oh looking good money we have found out that the king that used to live here in that room there he made glory with his nine wives and they had a clever aircon system of like a fountain curtain, a curtain of water, letting the wind blow through it and apparently cools down the space. So, very clever. And I discovered as well that this king had concubines. Actually not even called king, he's called Maharaja. And look at this palace he has, this nice green, green grass. The land around here is like desert, but he has nice greenery. are quirky little paintings in the arches and including some of the Kama Sutra. The king and what he used to do with his uh, 12 wives all here around the courtyard. Hello. Hello. Ah, and also we're on an electric. We're on an electric rickshaw. That's where we're going next, the floating temple. And you can guess why it's called floating temple. It's literally surrounded by water. One of the weirdest places we've been so far. Slightly derelict here, and it's supposed to be the, the monkey temple. We've got a bag full of gnats, don't tell the monkeys, and we're surrounded with monkeys and baby cats. Palos invaded. 
goats and monkey. What's gonna happen next? The monkey versus the goat versus Paolo. has become a proper adventure. We're just trying to find this Hanman temple and it's quite a, quite a walk of hills and quite a bit of distance. And uh, people are sending us in the wrong direction to the temple and giving us blessings and Hindu bracelets. So we got converted now, we are Hindu and we have to go to church every day. Okay, we have found this Himan temple, a Hindu temple, surrounded by monkeys. And it's quite a big complex, not too many visitors. More more, monkeys. Definitely more monkeys than people. And uh, yeah, really interesting. I feel like in Jenna Jones and in his movies. Little greedy monkey. This is such a stunning spot. They even have their, their own swimming pool and then this temple carved into the rock. Pretty nice sight. Bazaar now. We are just walking around, very chaotic, and the shops are not really the prettiest, but it's definitely the more authentic than anyone that we've seen before. And we see wild cats for once. all to ourselves. It's actually quite a good restaurant and we found my favorite dish, veg tali. Veg tali is basically a mix of everything and you have this crunchy and then normal naan, dal, different types of curry, rice and salad and creams and, and sweets in the front. And every restaurant seems to be different especially if you change region. Enjoy! Busy day up, time to do some work and sleep. <laughs>